Spectrum Center and happy almost Halloween. Adorable kids make great TV. Nothing scary here except for maybe him, the captain, if he has another nearly 40-point night. And now, of course, they'll be up against this guy in the Miami Heat. When you think Miami, you got to think Dwayne Wade. And for good reason, he hasn't missed a beat since coming back. Check out his shoes here. Hashtag one last dance. It's been a good one thus far. A beautiful night in Uptown and another great night to play some ball. Welcome in to Hornets Live presented by Momentum Mazda. I am Ashley Shamini, joined with Stephanie Reddy. Stephanie, it's so good to be back for longer than a day for yes. you. <laughs> yes, I have to tell you, Ashley, I felt a little weird coming into the building tonight without my luggage. I thought, I'm forgetting something, I'm forgetting something. You I'm can, good, though. You can kind of breathe, yes. and then now we're here for at least good. another week. Well, <laughs> on the road, though, unfortunately, not as much luck Saturday in Philly. But what is that silver lining as we head into this four-game-long home stretch? Yes, the silver lining is actually a couple of things. Uh, the first one is the obvious one, Kimba Walker, with yet another 30 per point performance he had 37 6 and 6 two block shots to go with that line and it was also his fourth game scoring 30 or more out of seven so he's already on a terrific tear Nick Batum jumped out at you because he only had two points but the silver lining with Nick Batum's line was that he had 10 rebounds he had two block shots four assists so he's contributing in other ways and then the best part was the bench they outscored the Philadelphia bench 33 to 25 led by the rookies which means tremendous upside for this team Miles Bridges and Devontae Graham had 21 combined points so not so bad not bad at all we're hoping more from the bench tonight as well and like we mentioned this is game one of a four game homestand and Stephanie a, a couple wins that we're expecting here in Charlotte this week indeed I mean the four games we're looking at the opponents coming up next these are all very winnable games obviously you know the situation with the Miami Heat because we've seen them already OKC getting off to a very slow start for their standards their worst start in decades and then the Cleveland Cavaliers have yet to win a game and have yet to name their current coach remember their there's a situation with Larry Drew. Is he the interim coach? Is he the voice? What's going to happen? And the Atlanta Hawks, two and four. They've got the young Trey Young on their team, who is very good. But all of these games, winnable games for the Hornets. Let's get a winning record here at the Spectrum Center. Let's talk about the previous meetings with the Heat, though. Obviously, the preseason. But game three of the regular season, you know, we were up 20 points by the half. Miami, yes. of course, making that second half comeback. But with Kimba Walker's unbelievable night and some free throws, we were able to, to pull out a win yes I mean it, that game had so many twists and turns I thought I was at an amusement park Kemba Walker got things going obviously it, he had 39 points he was 7 for 15 from behind the arc with seven assists and five rebounds to go with it he showed early on what he's capable of doing and I know the Miami Heat hate to see Kemba Walker coming because no matter the circumstance he always fills the bucket up he makes the right play for his team and after we show you this package this is where we get to the meet Ashley the fourth quarter Malik Monk he's been playing so well coming off the bench third leading score for the Hornets that shot puts the Hornets up by three and then Malik makes this three-point basket which puts the Hornets up 103 97 and Kemba Walker of course wants to get in on the three-point barrage party that puts the Hornets up by seven but it wasn't just the Hornets making threes Dwayne Wade he gets in on the three party that cuts the lead to four and then Kemba Walker I mean you can't say enough there are not enough superlatives for that young man Hornets up by five at this category now watch this Dwayne Wade tries the three but gets his own rebound that put back ties the game at 112 apiece Kemba Walker goes to the cup gets fouled and this is why it's important he misses the second free throw on purpose Hornets up by one not enough time for the Heat to do anything once they get the rebound brilliant miss by Kemba Walker and for the kids at home it's not as easy as it looks try missing on purpose you might want to practice it a couple times a lot of times that they try <laughs> but they don't miss That's right so it is a skill in itself and but I, my nerves can't take another game like that so I'm hoping tonight <laughs> is a little bit different I'm but with you <laughs> as the Hornets in heat heat up here at Spectrum Center here's what the guys had to say about playing Miami at shoot around this morning We have a good start. We have a great start against this team. You know, they have a tough loss last night. So they're going to be like, want to go back and, and win these games, which after what happened when we play them. So we have to get a great start. Yes, we start on defense. Now we did a good job last game on stopping them. You know, they have like Richardson, D Wade, Dragic, Johnson, like all those guys get very aggressive. And Whiteside and Bam, we set good screen. So it's going to be a team effort tonight. 
Yeah, I thought we came out really ready uh, to play down there in Miami. Obviously, you know, when we play these guys, they're always tough, tough games. Uh, they're one of the toughest teams in the league. They, they execute very well. We've got tough-minded players uh, that are very talented. So uh, we have to come out from the start again to give ourselves a chance. Yeah, it feels good. Uh, anytime you get a chance to play a couple at home, especially four, three, four in a row, you know, it's always a good feeling. So I know guys are looking forward to being home for a little bit. Uh, we just got to try to take it one game at a time, and it starts with the good one tonight. Just don't let them get no transition buckets uh, and no second chance points. I think they like the second lead scoring team uh, with second chance points. So you got to box out and uh, limited transition points. I love hearing directly from the players.